everybody here this morning. Guess what this week is? What's this week? It's Thanksgiving. In a minute, I want us to talk about all the things that we're thankful for. But until that, man, I want to show you something I'm thankful for in this side. What do you think it's going to be? say donut I love donuts and he's going to be he's going to be able to eat donuts very soon but he can't yet because he doesn't have many teeth but when he is he's going to love them because they smell really good don't they they're so yummy but we were talking in Sunday school this morning about donuts is one of the foods that when you look at it what's the first thing what's the first thing you see when you look at a donut it has a hole in it. It's one of the few foods that has a hole, but it's still yummy, just like, just like it is. And I, I, what I want to tell you this morning is that when we look at a donut and we see the hole before we see the donut, that tells us something about how we should be very thankful and not just see the things we don't have, but we should be grateful for the things that we do have. Because everybody sitting here has so much to be thankful for. I know I do. So instead of, and it's kind of funny because for Thanksgiving, we're told about to be thankful for things, but then Christmas comes in, we ask for a whole bunch of stuff. That's kind of an interesting way that it works. So I think maybe Thanksgiving comes first for that very reason. For that very reason. So we can be very thankful for the things that we already have. Now, in, in, in uh, my fourth and fifth grade class, we wrote some things that we are very thankful for. So let me see if Miss Bonnie can do this. I think I can because I'm nanny now instead of Miss Bonnie. I'm nanny. Okay put my glasses on my head, and I'm going to read what fourth and fifth grade said, because fourth and fifth grade said some fabulous things. And we, we made a top ten list, didn't we, mm -hmm. of things, and I took the top ten things, and I, I wrote pretty fast, because this was just at the end of Sunday school, and some of the rest of you might agree with this, but I'm going to ask you, if you're not in fourth or fifth grade class, what are the, some of the things you're thankful for? So just yell out things you're thankful for. What, love? Pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie. <laughs> Turkey, yeah, yeah. Your family, yes. What? What, Seth? Jesus. 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 I think you might hear him somewhere in this list. Let's see what we've got here. Okay, number ten, and I wrote some sentences that they wrote. They wrote sentences too. So number ten, there are lots of people. And number ten is home, my home. There are lots of people in this world who don't even have a place to live. I'm thankful I have one. Nine, food. I love food. And I don't think I've ever had a stomachache because of being so hungry that I'm sick. But lots of people are. I'm thankful I have more than enough food. And I'm thankful that my church shares food with others too. Number eight, clothes. I know clothes aren't supposed to be a big deal. But I do like my clothes. I've never had to worry about that, but I know lots of people do have to worry about not having clothes. That makes me sad. Number seven, being healthy. I am thankful for feeling good today. Many adults and children are sick and hurting, so today I'm blessed to be healthy. Number six, my country. Even, the th even though things seem kind of in a mess now in our country, <laughs> Our country is still the best place in the world to live. And I'm thankful to live in a country that I can learn about Jesus and tell others about him. Five, work to do. For now, my parents say that my work is school. So I'm thankful I have good work to do. Someday it will be different, but I'm thankful for what it is now. Teachers. School teachers and church teachers teach me how to live and be the best I can be. I'm thankful to have teachers that care about me. Number three, friends. I'm glad I have friends. I like people and they like me, I think. My mother says, my mother says it's not about people liking me. It's the way I treat others that really matter. Number two, family. I have a family that loves me. Things aren't always perfect in my family, but I know I'm loved by my family. Family is important, and I'm thankful for mine. I'm thankful for my church family, too. And number one, several people wrote this, and I just put it together really fast. Jesus is my number one on my list for all the things I'm thankful for. In fact, because of him, I have what I have. He loved me so much that he died on the cross for me, and because of him, I'll be in heaven someday. He's the best. Those are pretty good, aren't they? The top ten. I love those. And what, what it made me think about is that if we're that thankful for these beautiful things that we have, let's not think about what we don't have. Let's think about what we have. Let's not see the holes. Let's see the holy. 
because our Father in heaven is holy and he loves you. And everything that you'll ever have or do in your, your whole life is due to him. Now there's one other thing that I wanted, wanted to show you. Guess what? The holes are here. When Mr. Paul and I got donuts this morning, they put the holes in a separate sack. And when I look at that, it makes me think that, my goodness, I think we're supposed to be thankful for what we already have before we make a big, long list of what we want. Because guess what? The whole picture is very clear, and God will give us much more if we're only thankful for what he's already given us, even the holes. Let's say a prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for these beautiful children. And I thank you for each home that's represented in this, this sweet group today. I thank you for a sweet little grandbaby that I can be holding right now. And oh God, as we are thankful people this Thanksgiving, I just pray, God, that we may give you all the glory for your son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who died on the cross so we can have eternal life, that we can all be together in this life, but we can all be together forever in eternity. For that, we are thankful on this day. May we be thankful children. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.